Welcome to my studio. I'm Virginia and in this video I'm going to teach you how to paint the color yellow. Have fun! Here I am repainting and improving on the previous video the study of the sphere. Choose a medium yellow, mix it with some white and repaint the body tone. makes a yellow light subject pop off the canvas. A darker background. That's why I chose this dark gray, which is a mixture of black and white with some raw sienna to warm it up. And you all know cast shadow is the darkest value on our little picture and it's a mixture of black, white, and the complementary color of yellow, violet. So I added a alizarin crimson to this mixture. Oh, our lovely tonal value, the shadow. So difficult to make the right shadow color. But if we know the fundamentals, you will also know that it is the cooler version of your body tone. So mix some black, white to decide on the tonal value and add complementary color of yellow, violet. And you all know by now that the shadow is a two-part process. Here I am reintroducing the yellow, the body tone to the shadow. The zigzag technique blends the body tone into the shadow to create a smooth transition called turning point. Here I'm adding a lighter value for the table and watch me create a fuzzy line between the table and the background. That's a lost line. It creates a better illusion of distance. Here comes our beautiful highlight. I love this tonal value. It's not pure white. It's white with a touch of a alizarin the complementary color of yellow. Make it, break it, and make it again. Blend in the highlight and then you can bring back in some more. final value is the reflection. Well, my background is gray, right? It's this warm, beautiful grayish color. So the color that reflects into the sphere is interfered by the gray. This is why my reflection is a grayish hue. camera angle changed when I took the picture. Look at how much brighter the yellow is. And don't forget to subscribe.